So let's start by creating an OpsWorks stack and launching an application on top of that. So when you first start, you get this uh, welcome to AWS OpsWorks screen. So we can uh, launch a sample stack here. So we're just going to go here, add your first stack. Okay, so we're just going to use the sample stack. So the sample stack here, we're not going to do our own cookbooks or anything like that. So we just select Linux and create stack. So that will go through create the stack. Uh, it will set up the cookbook and the recipes in that repository. Uh, and it will create the layer and add instance to that layer. So that's all done very quickly, uh, very quickly. So there we go. So we've now made this Slack, uh, this stack. It's got a uh, Node app server on there as a layer. I uh, got a little message here saying we can start the instance. So once we start the instance, uh, we can actually start to, once it's running, we can deploy our application to that. So I'll just click on got it. So we'll just have a look here. So we've got our instance here. So there is one instance, but it's stopped. Uh, we have a layer and we have an app application there. So I'm just going to have a look at this application first. So this is the application that's going to be running on the infrastructure that we've defined using a chef recipe. And you can see here, it's pulling it in from a GitHub repository. So if I just, I'm just going to have a look at that GitHub repository and have a look and see what's in there. Okay, so that looks just like any ordinary Node.js application. So I just have a look in here. So there we go. So uh, require express. So it's an express Node.js application uh, that uh, developers would uh, certainly recognize. So that is the application, a Node.js application that is going to be launched on this infrastructure. So we'll just go back to our stack and I'm going to start up these instances. So, or single instance here. So it's currently stopped and we'll start that. And that will go through and do its usual uh, boot up and um, health checks and whatever that a uh, EC2 instance does. So that will take some time. So while that's running around, I'll just have a look at the stack again. So what we can have a look at is the layers. So here's our, our layer, which has got one instance inside it. It has recipes there. It has some EBS volumes. So let's have a look at the recipes. So there we can see, so there's a Node.js demo recipe that is used for deployment. And that is located in an Amazon S3 bucket there. So that is a code that defines our infrastructure. So when we talk about infrastructure as a code, this is what we're talking about. So we have, uh, we have code there located in a repository and that defines our infrastructure. We also have code for our actual application that we're going to run on this app server, okay? So there are two repositories there, one for our, our infrastructure as code and the other one for our actual application that we're going to run on that infrastructure. Okay, so we've just fast forward. It took a little bit of time to, uh, to do that, but it's finally finished. So we have our instance up and running there. So we can see it's been assigned a public IP. And if we go to that public IP, it won't really do anything because there's no application running on it. So let's go back to apps. And there is our Node.js sample app that was located in that GitHub re repository. So we're going to deploy that to that infrastructure. Okay, and it's just telling here, App OpsWorks will run this command on one of one instances. So we deploy that. So that should be running now. And what I'm gonna do is go back to that instance. I'm gonna to go to this public IP and see what's there. And there we go. So OpsWorks has created the infrastructure that we require. It's used a chef recipe to do that. Uh, a chef recipe has defined all of the infrastructure as code. It has deployed all of that infrastructure. And then subsequently it has deployed our Node.js application from a GitHub repository. So there you can see that is the, uh, the application that was in that GitHub repository that's been launched on a Node.js server. 
So pretty good. So a lot more powerful than Elastic Beanstalk or or EC2 container service. Um, and certainly uh, if you're going to be looking at really advanced, this is probably the uh, high end of, uh, of the deployment options on AWS. Okay, so, so that we don't actually get uh, a, a nasty bill at the end of the month for all these services that we're not going to be using, we're just going to uh, delete this stack and all the associated resources. So the first thing we need to do is we need to stop and then after it's stopped, uh, we need to delete our instance. So we're just chugging away there to stop. We also need to delete the application as well. So if we delete that app and confirm deletion of that, and we just need to wait for that to uh, finish stopping that instance. So that instance has now stopped, so we can delete that. So once that's deleted, then we can go back into our stack and we can delete the stack once the uh, instance has been deleted. So we just delete that and that's done.